guys, what's up? All right, all right, all right. It's Double Deuce back. So, this is episode two of Rise and Shine. It's engine time. I got a package in the mail today that's going to fix this. I'm excited. I'm a happy man. So, anyways, uh, grab your favorite smoke, beverage, popcorn, uh, whatever you want to do, and hang out with me today. And we're going to open that package, and we're going to move on. So, there was a little... I guess misunderstanding in the past week and I want to clear that up in my video so anyways guys here we go okay I'm gonna open this up and I want to show you guys something that happens um, when through development uh, prototypes you know, there's a lot of a lot of work that goes into a prototype, and and my upcoming video um, is going to be on the prototype versus this because uh, it I think they want to do a blog, um, so I don't know where I stand with them yet, but. I'm still going to go ahead with my thing for you guys. And if they want to put a blog up about it, that's cool. So, but when I put up my video, that was uh, kind of my rant video there. Um, and I honestly, I did remove the video because I don't like negativity in the hobby. I really don't, you know. I like everything is good, you know. This thing is well packed, I'm telling you. I'm really amazed by this. So, it's actually marked three times. So, I'm trying to make this fast. If you get bored, maybe sip your drink or hit your smoke there. So, man. They went all out on this. Okay, so here's what I want to see when I open the package. This is like super well packed. This came like suddenly. Um, I think it was because of the issue that we had on ports. Okay, this is a good sign. I have rings that I can put in there. And let me get the flashlight here. And we have holes. Okay. So we're going to do a comparison here. Because I, when I first mentioned this, I thought I was at fault. I really did. Um, but we worked it out. Um, now, I'm going to give you a close-up of this right here on what we got. And I'll try to bring the light in a little bit better. I'm going to pull the camera up, guys. And I'm going to turn it around. Okay. Now I'm going to point this up. We have holes here. And here, here, so I got three holes, one, two, three. Okay, this one has none, so we're going to look at the location of the holes here, and none, none, there's no holes in there, and none, so there's no return holes. For the oil pump. Now, one thing I did notice about this engine, uh, the machine work is looks like chrome on this thing. This is like, it's amazing how nice they've done this. It has rings in the cylinders because they have to match the cylinder. So when I do just tear this down and disassemble it, um, I'm going to use these rings per cylinder. So, 
and the cool thing is underneath there you'll see there's tiny little holes how do I get this on camera the best here and try to shine the light in there hold on let me do this these holes return down and rain and cause that vortex of oiling inside now this is one of the first um, engines from Howen that actually has the splash oiling system here so everything else is cool and we're back on the build so this is going to be good I'm telling you I love this engine I really do it's it's an it's the uh, tribute to the iconic Ford engine that I mean I've had many in my lifetime too you know they've been around the world so uh, there's a lot of things um, I had a lot of messages on these sometimes I, I guess you guys couldn't decipher the directions clearly so um, when I tear this down and build this block here I am going to um, go over a lot of little things that were not mentioned I should say they were shown in the directions everything was shown in the directions um, but I think um, it was kind of a miscommunication. You know, people may have missed some of the stuff. There's a lot of pins in this engine here that align the head, the front cover, all the rotating assembly. There's a lot of pins that go in there to keep all the bearings together. And um, some of you guys said, hey, they're a little rough. Yeah, well, they are. But... Um, that's why we change our oil. <laughs> That's a break-in period. So, anyways, guys, um, like I say, this is I'm excited to get this. I want to thank SterlingKit.com, the Sterling Kit team, and the Howen team, everybody for um, trying to help me out with this problem. And it went kind of south there for um, you know a while, and then I put up that video and. And honestly, I removed the video because I don't like the negative in the hobby. So um, I'm going to go back to me now. Now that we have, you know, um, something I can complete now. And I'm going to go over a lot of things with the prototype compared to the production model. And so I'm going to switch back. So hang on. Okay, we're back now. Um, all the ones that they had in stock were sent back to the manufacturer because they found, uh, I guess, a, a fault with a couple of new hire technicians and um, following directions. So it, this is not Sterling Kit's fault at all. All right, they um, they caught the problem. I'll put it that way. Um, you're if you're gonna pre-order a new engine it might get delayed a little while but it's worth waiting for um, here's the reason um, I might be the bad guy if you want to call me that but um, I caught a problem and I tried to fix it for everybody to save sterling kit and all the other companies that sell these drama um, you know if you can put it out the door one time that's best to do it so when you put it out the door three or four times and it turns into the Toy and L 400 and you know that turns into a debacle even though that's still one of my favorite engines it is the Toy and L 400 is still one of my favorite engines now you're gonna see in the background over here I got lots of engines here you know you know, I got my Toy and V8, which I'm still playing with the supercharger on this thing. Um, I got it running yesterday. I had a couple of issues with it, and I was like, I realize what's going on here, so I'm going to figure that out. Um, and I got the new V12 that I tested. And, of course, in the background over here, we got the Aussie V8. And then we have the Ingemore G52 V8. So... You know, when I'm, 
you know, I, <laughs> I don't sleep sometimes, you know what I mean? Like, I try to keep bringing cool content to everybody, so. But I wanted to give everybody an update that the block came with the correct holes. Um, it came with fresh rings with the cylinders. That's cool. Um, like I say, I'm tickled, you know, so when I, I schedule all this stuff in together, um, I will get a build video up on this. Just be patient with me because I do work a full-time job and I have a couple other projects here that I still want to start on to kind of get away from the engine drama to start making an RC car. So, you know, now I'm still working on clutches and, you know, adapter kits and all this stuff. So, but anyways, guys, uh, I want to make a short video on this. Um, I did have a lot of questions on different engines. Um, I'll try to answer them as much as I can. But they're being this is Rise and Shine, it's engine time. We're going to go through some of these engines here and, you know, like... I did have a lot of questions on the Aussie V8, okay? And one thing I know about the Aussie engines, they know how to make a supercharger. This thing rocks. It, it is just unbelievable. It actually surges when it idles, you know? And so, of course, a lot of these engines have their little quirks and problems. So, you know, everything ain't cool yet, but we're getting better and better and better. Um, and I'm sorry again for pointing out this problem here, but if it makes the hobby better, then, you know, I'll take the wrap, you know, because, you know, we, we spend a lot of our hard-earned money on this stuff, and um, now they're realizing, you know, that there's a problem. So they jumped on this, I mean, instantaneously, and, uh, and I want to thank them for their kind words and you know if you read their blog on this engine here you'll see that you know they did find that there was a problem and and it's you know that's all cool I'm not gloating about it you know it's like this is how we evolve and so anyways guys I'm gonna go back to like doing a couple of things here and make some food because I just I mean it's like almost seven o'clock I just got home work but I wanted to put this video up because this came in the mail tonight and to give you guys an update I like to keep you guys you know last minute updates all the time and what I find out you find out you know I mean and sometimes I'm a little late at that so you guys find out a lot more than I do sometimes so anyways guys take care and I'll talk to you again and we'll do another video later, so adios.